my tutorial on iPod Touch Customize and the things it can do. Obviously, as you can see from right here, um, I do have some customized things even on the uh, unlocking page. I've got the uh, battery, um, then the changed of uh, font right there, and or type right, text right there, and the slider. But uh, I'll go ahead and into customize and uh, show you how to do that. Um, first off, to get customize, you're gonna want to go into your installer, and uh, hopefully it'll load up here pretty fast. But um, I'm not actually going to un or uh, uninstall my in customize, but I'll show you where what things are underneath what. But um, customize, I believe, is underneath. Um, just a moment. Yeah, customize is under utilities, and I'm under uninstall right now because that's where mine would be at. But um, make sure when you download customize, you download the customize and not customize old. Um, so yeah, it'll be under utilities, and then what you also want to do is install. Um, one of the things I installed was. Big boss, th big boss theme packs. I believe. Uh, no. Um, boss cube images is what you want to download. Also, I do. Also, I downloaded the uh, Chima image pack, and that has some pretty good ones. There's um some other ones that you can get for customize, but uh, they don't always show up in the customize application. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into customize here. Um, a lot of people have problems with that screen and um, with it loading. So if that is a problem for you, just tap it really fast. Like uh, just tap on the screen really fast, and that will hopefully load it. If not, try uninstalling it and then reinstalling it. Um, one of the things that you can do here, as I just went into carrier, is you can change what's up there in the corner. Mine says 007. You do usually say uh, iPod on an actual iPod like that but you can change it to like T-Mobile or um, I really like that one the Apple over Windows because I'm an Apple user um, you can use I think there's I thought I saw the Verizon one here yeah it's right there for Verizon you can use Verizon wireless I choose the 007 one because it looks kind of cool up there in the corner um, you can change the Wi-Fi images too as you can see, mine is a traffic light, but there's also the regular, and there's the colored sets too. The colors are kind of cool too. Um, another thing nice about Customize, which uh, I haven't actually been able to get to work, but I'm hoping that if uh, I can show you guys this, that someone might understand what's going wrong with it. But uh, you can choose how many icons you want in the bottom of your dock. Um, I want five down there, but I can never get it to work. And usually after that it says to save these changes, load the manual reorder screen. And so I would go into manual reorder. Hit manual reorder here. And uh, put those in my dock. And uh, also I've had trouble with uh, the little eye thing um, and getting them to hide and stuff on your uh, springboard so I would just put those as the ones I wanted in my dock I'd go ahead and let it restart here and it would only still have three in there so that's a problem I've had um, if you have any comment on that on why that might not be working go ahead and leave a message or something and um, but uh, that's how you can do it if uh, yours is working, another nice thing is uh, just some dock backgrounds here. Um, some other things you can change such things as the volume knob for your volume. Uh, but uh, there's some more things here too. Battery images. I I really like the battery images. As you saw, I had the flame at the beginning. Got the flame right there. I can do that if I wanted to. I'll go ahead and change it up a little bit here to show you guys what's going on. 
um, cancel. Go back to customize. Um, also, I can change the main slider uh, to like almost any of these things, and these come from downloading them from this one is actually Boss Cube right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make it this uh, hamburger just to show you guys how different it'll be. Um, you can also change the springboard strings. And if you didn't, if you noticed the beginning when mine should say slide to unlock, mine said uh, touch me. I'll go ahead and change that so you guys can see it. Um, I'm just going to put, just say, hello, if I could type. Use the autocorrect. Oh, nope. Closed it accidentally. I'm going to go ahead and type hello. And re hit return. And that should be okay. Uh, you can pretty much change like any ones in here, so that's kind of nice. Then, um, highlight mask. You probably won't be able to see it when I do mine because it usually is glaring a lot. But um, you can change what's going back and forth in the underneath the text of the springboard string when you're turning it on or off or anything like that. Um, calculator and calculator LCD, or the LCD is just kind of like different background colors for your calculator and um, you can change the weather background and things for that too. Um, installer themes, just pretty much what the packages look like and on installer. But I'm going to go ahead and just move this now so then you can see what the difference will look like. And uh, when this, the battery thing, I was going to say something about, um, you only ever see this battery if it's uh, plugged into your computer, or not comp your computer, or into the, the wall charger. But as you can see, that's changed my, uh, my hamburgers down there, my hellos right there, and uh, you can kind of see the rainbow going back and forth from that. Um, also, I showed you earlier that... Um, the volume knobs I could change so if you were to go in here and um, just start playing one of the songs you can see here that my volume is uh, different so that's kinda nice um, well that's pretty much how you use customize um, there are other things you can do with customize um, one of that things is uh, SSA to go into your computer and put things in there from there. Um, the way you're going to want to do this is you're going to want to go from the uh, main just slash. You're going to want to go to private uh, var root library and then customize and then there'll be tons of different um, folders in there that you can go to if you want to add in a slider you can go into um, main slider images and put it in backup and you'll want to save that as a .png and you'll want the megapixels to be uh, 71 by I believe the number is 47 71 by 47 megapixels just save in there and then you can add them in there um, this is an Apple, and I'm an Apple user, but it would work with the same kind of SFTP thing for Apple or uh, Windows. They're pretty much both the same. So that's uh, how you can customize your iPod Touch, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.